Hello. Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Did you see the goddamn Yahoo who carved his name into the Coliseum? I'm sorry. You know, like, honestly, I heard something. I saw something briefly about it, but no, I didn't know actually the story behind it. So. so- I guess. Go, go, go. I, well, I guess there's more has come out since I found the the original story. Because at first I didn't know who he was. Okay. I now, guess now they like, got his name. He is. I don't. I, it, well, he carved Ivan plus Haley, so I imagine his name is Ivan. Yikes! He. I guess he's Bulgarian, living oh, in the UK, no. and he did. He has UK citizenship, and he did this in Rome. Oh. Homeboy's facing five years in prison in yeah. Italy. Yeah. Yeah, because he he defaced a two thousand yeah. year old building and carved him and his girl's name into it. Yeah, like, yeah. Why I do good girls like bad guys? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Better been the best night of his life after that. Oh my god, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's insane, yeah. man. Uh, look, I'm all about like showing your girl that you love her, but carve it into a tree across the street. Yeah, that's not the first time this has happened. Though. This reminds me of the uh, the Christ picture that the lady tried to fix. She threw the coffee on it. No. Oh, the the meme painting. <laughs> that wasn't a meme. That happened. <laughs> I mean, they tried to <laughs> that do it. Shit and, happened. And it was- <laughs> We're gonna no fix me. it. It looked like grimace. Yeah, it was like a picture of Christ, and then she tried to like fix it, and it was just like some open mouth. It, honestly, it's become a meme because now people are like, "Yo, that's fucking hilarious. I want to see it." <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> the meme, the awful. meme just. Yeah, yeah, it's it's awful. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with people defacing like monuments and like stuff. Wonders of the world. Like, yeah. I think that is a wonder of the world. <sighs> what do you do? Do they fix it? I mean, I'm sure they do. They fix like Mona, Lisa. That's true. They they do have uh they have units that uh they have restore. That restore stuff. Yeah, restoration. What they probably do is just just kind of scrape it all out so it ends up becoming flush again. It just so it looks like a stone again instead of a. But how do you know? And obviously, you can't go there every year and see Ivan loves teen. What was the chick's name? Haley. Haley. Yeah. That's a that's a sexy name. Yeah. yeah. Haley was probably five years in prison. Haley has never been attributed to a not sexy girl. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I'm doing five years in prison for a Haley though. Mm. Who? Well, what name would you do five years in prison for? Beyonce. Oprah. <laughs> oh, Oprah. <laughs> Rihanna. Very. very Prestigious, um, unique names. Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> now you're just naming off. <laughs> what? Now you're just naming off rich chicks. <laughs> you're all like Michelle O. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, any Michelle? I'll take Michelle from the Tanners. Kamala. Ka- no. Kamala. Yeah, mm, <laughs> five years. Woo. Dude, I. Uh, speaking of like last night i came across i get i don't know if i think it was i think i saw it was made on the daily show it may not be true it was like an ai completely ai campaign video of like joe biden like completely ai generated voice it was funny as shit it was like it was just because it was like him swearing about stuff and like it's like that trump Biden yeah, 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 yeah. but it was like it was like a political ad about him running for president again but I it was all that. ai generated I, I think I, was, I saw that i did see that it yeah. was pretty good it made and, me then, laugh, and then at one point it was like if you can't tell this is ai you're an asshole yeah yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah very end that. of it or whatever so yeah i don't know dude i don't i have you ever vandalized anything um seven years more. i'm not big on vandalization i'd like vandalized souls Van- um, wow, you're just like I will cripple you till the eternal death. <laughs> I will not just hurt you; I will <laughs> maim your soul until you die. Soul vandalizer is a great like band name. Is it? <laughs> Soul Jonah, vandals. Jonah Chanel. I don't know. Vandals kind of like gives me like like I don't know. Soul bandits. Soul bandits. No, <laughs> that's D and D. That's like guys in tights. But soul vandalizers. It's like, it's like a guy, in, a guy in brown tights with a with a outlaw handkerchief on his face. <laughs> Stick him up. Gotcha. Right, you got a quiver on your back for just because <laughs> you're quivering with your quiver because yeah. you're a soul bandit. Nobody wants to hear that. 
but soul vandalizers makes me think of like urban terrain like i'm gonna vandalize i'm gonna write my name across your heart and then leave you <laughs> cross your heart <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? No, am I wrong? I mean, you're not, when you said that, I got chills. I don't know. Is this what I see, dude? I'm, you know, I'm thinking from a mogul standpoint. Hey. But I think we could be the soul vandalizer. I think soul vandalizers would be a good name for a soul rapper. vandalizers pop podcast. The That's soul it. Are we changing That's the it. name? 2023 Crazy Town becomes a soul vandalizer. 24. 24. We got uh, six months left. Ooh, then we're rebranding. Soul vandalizer. Welcome to the Soul Vandalizers Podcast. I'm DJ Quitty Quick. <laughs> and I'm T Day Titty Tip. T Day Titty Tip. T Day Titty Tip here right now. <laughs> what would my soul vandalizer name be, though? Ooh. You're, it's not going to be just not, what'd you just say? I don't even remember <laughs> at I all. I remember T-Day Titty Tip. Titty Tip. Uh, <laughs> wait, what were him? What, no, it would have to be like. I'm, I'm going to be T-Day. Lucius Zane. Lucius Zane and T-Day Titty Tip. Come <laughs> <up>. <laughs> Welcome to the Soul Vandalizer Podcast. I'm Lucius Zane. And I'm T-Day Titty Tip. <laughs> we're here to vandalize your souls, man. Well, we are going to ruin you. Yeah. Welcome to the podcast. You'll be dead by the end. You should probably not wash your body for three days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Go cry in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody loves you. <laughs> <laughs> I love this idea. <laughs> Hey, How long do you think we can get away with it? January twenty four. Just <laughs> depression core. Depression core. <laughs> depression cast. We're the soul vandalizers. Welcome to depression. I woke up today and I couldn't get out of bed. <laughs> I slept till three. <laughs> and I cried till eight. Quit my job and left my wife. <laughs> I like it. I bet all my money on <laughs> crypto. You know, gambling is becoming a big thing. And has it ever not been? I mean, bigger now because of the internet. You know, I mean, internet sure. has been slow. The internet has slowly been trying to take over just like how big gambling is. I can't is. wait to gamble when we go to Vegas. To give you a little bit of perspective on, on where I was even going with that, there was a prominent Twitch streamer because, you know, I'm the meme guy. Jonas is the news guy. I'm the meme guy. All right. I come out with the memes. Yes. Prominent Twitch streamer who got a hundred million dollar contract from a pr prominently gambling oriented website to stream on their website. Oh, now really? this man usually boasts 250,000 viewers. Oh my per God. Stream. One of the biggest streamers out there. Oh my God. A hundred million dollars. And it's not even exclusive. He can still stream on Twitch. But oh, wow. for a certain portion of any content that he puts out, obviously he has to go over to the the other service and stream there. Oh wow, was it like DraftKings? Um, it's not DraftKings. I can't remember the name of the of the, of the company right now off the Damn. top of my. Nor do I want to give them any publicity because they didn't offer me a contract. Um, I'll do it for one million. <laughs> I do it for half. I do it for two hundred k. If they offered, if if they yeah. offered us half a million dollars for both of us, we're going. All right, we're exclusivity. Yeah, <laughs> you can give me seventy five cents. Bro. Sorry, we're YouTube. Over. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, YouTube. They gave me ten k. I'm yeah. like, I'm out. You better bring your fucking ass over to gamble.com and come hang out with me. Gamblebros.com. I will talk all about gambling. We well, talk well, welcome to the Gamble Bros podcast. I'm <laughs> I'm Money Jug <laughs> and I'm Big Dollar Daryl. Big Dollar Daryl. It's always, like it. always got to be three syllables. Yeah, man. yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> exactly. I feel you. Uh, I love it. But yeah, so yeah, gambling is is definitely moving its way into the internet. I love it, dude. dude do I love, love gambling. It? I do. I love it so much. You do not love gambling. I absolutely do. We're playing a trick. We're planning a trip to Vegas. Actually, you have no idea how much I love gambling. Do I you gambling. really like gambling? Oh, I love gambling. A lot. I know you do. Like the, you did like the DraftKings stuff for a while. DraftKings, fantasy football. I'll play March Madness tournaments. Like I'll gamble on sports. So like if sports if, betting. If I would sports bet. If it was legal here and I could use the app, I would absolutely do it every year. Hmm. I would only bet on football, though, because I only know football well enough. I don't know. You would like, think basically. in a state like Texas, gambling would be legal. What's uh, more cowboy than tech than gambling? Uh, Pick yeah, up the you're card. Right. Pick up the card, Maverick. <laughs> Pick up the card, Maverick. I mean, I think Kenny Rogers was here when he wrote The Gambler. 
Right? I don't, I don't know if he was or not. I don't know not. either. Yeah. <laughs> he but brought yeah. that salsa from New York City. I don't know you're in, so you but you're not big into like casino gambling, I would say. I uh, Are you? I I am. I Are you play, really? I used to play a lot of poker, not in not in casinos, but I used to play online poker. Oh, maybe, oh. maybe I don't know about this this lifestyle of Jonas, man. Maybe I I thought you were going to go kind of lightweight in uh in Vegas. Maybe you're going to go harder than I, I would thought. S- like the last time I went, I sat at a roulette table for like hours. What? And just drank and just slow played, man. Patience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, sit yeah, there yeah. and just, I mean, I don't go big. You like, just go black, red. Black, red, odd, even. Okay. Columns. Yeah. Sets. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Slow like play. It. I, feel I like it. it, man. If you're patient, you can win. Exactly. But like, and that's the thing with And like, I do like playing poker. I don't really like playing poker in person too much because. I don't know. It's just weird. Um, but yeah, bl- I like playing blackjack. But the problem is, if you get a table where people don't know what they're doing, like then I get mad at them because I'm like, you took the dealer's hit card, bitch. Like, bra- yeah, you took the dealer's a bus card. I mean, like, because if because if everyone's playing the same meta, everybody wins. Mm. But if you if you go down, she's like, I like to play. Hit me, and then like they take the ten, and then the dealer gets the three and beats everybody on the table. Because that chick didn't do what she was supposed to or that uh, dude who didn't know what he... I just want to play. I love to win. Jonas is over here. Jonas Moneymaker. I don't okay. know how to play craps, but I want to learn before we go. You know what? Craps is very fun. I actually learned how to play craps like years ago. I could not tell you the rules now because they are just like... I want to go to place, Vegas and watch you play craps. I would if I'll I I'll bet I'll bet while you throw the dice. If I relearned how to play craps and I did like a little bit of research, I'm you know what I might do it. You should. I might because I, I would like and craps is one of those like explosive games. Because every everyone wins when you win. The exactly. whole table wins every exactly. nineteen minutes. The place goes no, it's crazy. The, oh my god, you got Cleveland heads. You know yeah. that. Hey, thistle down, bro. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. I think I might learn how to play craps because I've always wanted to play craps in Vegas, and I don't know how, but I'll be like a put money on the pass line i don't even know what that means that's all i know <laughs> that's all you know that's all i know oh god damn it man i need to relearn craps that's that's actually a really yeah, good and idea you know why i think i don't like playing poker in vegas it's because you have to go to the poker room you can't just like go yeah. walk up to a poker table yeah. you gotta like go it's this whole big thing you gotta find a table you i'm sure s- there's probably certain casinos that still have it like back in the day type styles Nah, i mean nah. all the other games are cra- roulette craps all that stuff is just out there yeah. but like poker there's always a poker room what, what, what about baccarat? Oh, <laughs> baccarat! I don't even know. Oh, I uh, I don't know how to play that. Would you learn how to play baccarat so we could play baccarat? I'd, I'd watch you play. You know, Kino, we'll just go play Kino. Pe- you know, I don't know what the hell that it's is. Like, it's like bingo for Vegas. Is that what it is? It's like there's numbers on a board and shit. I don't know, dude. I've never even heard of Kino. I've, I do I've like, heard of I, Kino, but I've never. heard I do of like any gambling. Rules. When I was when I was a kid, I used to play all the casino games like on Nintendo and stuff, like Casino really? Kid and uh, can't even think of the name of them anymore. Uh, what was the name of them? Casino Kid? Was the one I really liked a lot. Then there was a. Uh, Oh, Cas- yo, Casino Kid is absolutely insane when you think about the, the implications nowadays. Right? You're like, let me market this casino game for children. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get them hooked early and look at what they But created. I don't like slots because there's, no. there's no skill. Okay, and see, and that's where I was going to go next is like, so you don't really mess with slots. No, because there's you literally poke a button. There, there's, yeah. you have, there's no skill. No skill, no no way to like even game. It's just like strict random number generation. Yeah, well, if I get drunk, I'll sit down and like throw 10 bucks in a machine and just be yeah. like, good. Or, or sit at a machine so you can get free drinks from the waitresses yeah. in Vegas and stuff, but I ain't. <laughs> have you seen that that gif of like all the old people just like pressing the button you just see like a bunch of hands just pressing the button, putting money in and pressing the button, putting money in, pressing the That's button. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah. That is what happens. Uh, yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's gonna be good. It's just like do you lottery. like gambling? Um, so I have very very little experience with any form of gambling. You can be a gambler when we go. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Thousand dollars on black when we walk in. See what happens. I'm not putting a thousand dollars on black. I'm sorry. You used all the crazy town petty cash when you went to <laughs> Cancun. <laughs> I did. <use> <laughs> <petty cash. laughs> 
<laughs> you ain't wrong. So, I, but I might put like I might put like a uh, hundred dollars on on like a, a roulette table to to start off with. Maybe like two fifty on a roulette to start. Two fifty on red or black just to try. Yeah. To, just to be like either I'm gonna have a little less of a good time or I'm a little better of a good time. Yeah. And honestly, it won't even be a little less because I'm 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 cool to go over whatever I budget myself out to. I'm gonna have a good time. Is what it's gonna turn. Oh into. yeah. I've oh. made a decision. I'm gonna have a good time because I deserve it. You're not wrong. You work hard out here. Exactly. Money's only temporary. Can't take it with you. Can't. When I think about like rich people that die, and I think like you know, <clears throat> like legacy is a hundred percent important. It is. It is important. Like the impact you put on people. I don't know if it's necessarily the impact you put on like a group of people. Um, certain things that you leave behind, like a lot of people, you know, they'll never be forgotten for. But the vast majority. You know, not to say that a person shouldn't strive for greatness. You should always strive for greatness. Right, right. But, you know, like. Well, but like, yeah, like if you have like a million dollars and you lived frugally and then it just goes to your kids and they blow it. Like what? <laughs> Basically. Like you live frugal so your kids can live extravagant. I mean, I ain't got and, no kids. And honestly, I ain't got no kids. <laughs> and honestly, that's what a lot of people strive for. I ain't got for. a million dollars either. So yeah, maybe if we maybe if we'd have kids, it would it would have motivated us a little bit more, Jonas, and we'd be millionaires right now. But maybe I'd just be like, I can't stand my ex girlfriend, <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta have two hundred fifty dollars taken out of my check every month because <laughs> it's broad. <laughs> Wow. I'm On that note, saying, I forgot to set a timer. So that's all the time we have for today's episode. Two paths. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. See you, T. Uh, we out.